What's the fastest 40-yard dash? Each February, hundreds of the best college football players are invited to the NFL Scouting Combine, where executives, coaches, scouts and doctors from all NFL teams conduct an intense four-day job interview in advance of the NFL Draft. The 40-yard dash is the marquee event at the Combine that has become known as the Dash for Cash because a prospect's recorded time can have a heavy impact on his career. Football fans across America continue to obsess over this simple test in the game of football. The aim of the test is to determine acceleration, agility and quickness. There is nothing discussed more than the 40-yard dash. The drill takes center stage and undoubtedly the question is asked thousands of times. What's the fastest 40-yard dash? John Ross is officially the fastest player in the draft. He broke Chris Johnson's long-standing 40-yard dash record at the Combine, running a blazing 4.22 seconds. After the draft, he challenged Usain Bolt to a race, saying he could beat the fastest man alive in the 40-yard dash anytime, anywhere. Bolt responded, asked by ESPN.com what he thought Ross's chances were of winning the race. How much of a chance do you think Ross would have against you in a 40? Zero. <laughs> Absolutely none. Since 1999, the NFL has used semi-electronic timing to determine 40-yard times at the Combine. The clock is started by hand on the first movement by the runner, and lasers take the times from the 10, 20 and 40-yard lines for the Combine's official times. But hand timed start may be very inaccurate up to 0.5 of a second. So obviously the only valid times that can be used for a comparison are from 10 to 40-yard marks. The absolute fastest recorded 40-yard split belongs to Usain Bolt. During his world record 100-meter run of a 9.58, he crossed the 10 and 40-yard marks at 1.64 and 4.18 seconds respectively, which means he ran the flying 30 yards in 2.54 seconds. John Ross, during his record-breaking attempt, clocked 1.49 at the 10-yard mark and his flying 30 was 2.73 seconds. The visualization may gain a better perspective of how fast John Ross is relative to the fastest man in the world.